Hello and welcome everyone to Epic 7 with Venom Blade. So today we're going to do something different, not uh, quite the Guild Wars that we used to, um, but we're going to actually look at Labyrinth today. Um, so how to actually efficiently use up our Labyrinth compasses uh, for the most efficient uh, way of actually farming the bosses. Okay, so if you do Labyrinth and you're actually just going through um, the one boss per day, uh, then I'm going to help you out here. So some of you actually know this trick already, uh, then just enjoy the video. Uh, otherwise, for those who actually don't know the trick, I uh, hope this really helps you out uh, for your labyrinth runs. Okay, so you can actually use leaves to replenish these, uh, but we're actually going to go through um, using up our free leaves, actually, so we don't actually have to buy any labyrinth compasses. I only bought one just now, just to show you guys uh, how I usually do my runs without waiting for the next day. So when we go into uh, battle and labyrinth up here, uh, when we do actually have our available labyrinths uh, every time we have a daily refresh, uh, I usually go into Tyrrell Castle here and go into Area 1. So this is the best place and probably the easiest place to find Hooch. So let's go ahead with any team. So it could be any team because there's no actual battles here. So I usually just teleport up to this top corner. There you go, the highest point. Uh, I usually just teleport to the top there and then just make my way down to the bottom left hand side here and then we'll meet Hooch here right there there we go he's just sitting right there in the middle okay so if you didn't know this already the Hooch is probably the easiest way to find Hooch shop is just here and obviously just buy stuff that you actually need so he's usually a scammer but uh, uh, the daily merchant that actually stands here usually is okay pretty cheap in Tyrrell Castle, the first one, the highest one, it's in there, and it'll be the first area one. That's where you can find Hoochie. Right, but today we're going to go into Raid uh, Asmacalis, Asmacalis uh, Labyrinth. Right, so let's go ahead with normal difficulty. Okay, so when you go into a labyrinth here, we start off with 70, uh, what is it called? Morale. Okay, 70 morale. This is when you have like uh, 10, plus 10% health, etc. When you get down to zero, it gets slightly worse, and then minus 30 uh, is where it gets really bad. So when this, when it gets to minus 31, you're basically dead. Um, whatever enemy you're up against, you're going to die uh, straight out, going to get one-shotted. So we want to keep our stamina high, and to do that, guys, we need like a team like this to uh, replenish that when we do when you go go camping. So I actually tried to stout and we actually tested um, this one that gives me 44 with these units here. It actually gives me 44 but I'm still unable to beat two bosses in one run. So I actually tried out going to uh, beat this one. I beat this one, teleported back to here, ran all the way across to here and when we got to uh, just before this actually, this last um, section here. Uh, we actually got uh, destroyed by that team there, so uh, it still doesn't work. No matter how much uh, morale you have, you still can't beat two bosses in one run. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you. So I usually run with this team here, this Tamarine with BBK, with Arbiter Vildred and Strays as well. So a very AOE based uh, team here. So I usually just run with this and just auto it all the way through. It actually, um, they're actually fine to auto. So let's go ahead with this team and I'll show you exactly uh, how I usually make my runs. And I'll show you a bit later on about this camping. Here when it continues on onto the uh, crossroads section, we're going to another battle, which you can just auto again. Okay, when it gets to finishing those two battles off, we get to go down to the next one now. Let's keep going. Okay, so it's beaten two enemies again. Let's go back down. Let's keep going down here and then up towards the boss. Okay, so when we get to this point here, that's the big uh, L section here. So we're going to go straight up down this route here and we're going to go towards the boss here. Right, and let's fight the boss now. So we get to the first boss. This can actually be done for any other boss. You can actually go for the queen or maybe go for uh, this one up here. 
or the bees. Um, but I actually go for this one because I think it's the easiest boss. So uh, it's up to you which boss you go for. But once you clear the boss, uh, I'll show you what to do a bit later on. So right, let's kill the boss first. All right, so the first boss is out of the way. Like I said, guys, you can actually go for any other boss as well. It doesn't have to be this one here. Uh, this is one I choose because it's most easiest, I think, uh, even though I, even though I auto all, all the bosses. Uh, but it might be the easiest for you. But uh, once you've cleared the boss anyway, here's where it gets interesting. So I usually teleport back to here. So rather than just leaving uh, after you cleared the first boss, um, I actually found out this technique just... Uh, it wasn't actually that long ago, it was only a couple of months back. So what we're going to do is after we beat the first boss, we're actually going to go make our way towards the second boss. So it doesn't really have to be along the same route, but I like to go on the same route anyway because this bit's uh, slightly shorter and less, less taxing for the morale. So what we're going to do here guys is just go camping. Okay, so it could be any team. Uh, this is the team that I've chosen anyway, so you can actually uh, we can actually look at how much morale we get back. So I usually go with Arbiter Vildred first with criticism. Those who trust the world are either too naive. So obviously the the triple arrow ones are the best ones. If you do get three orange arrows pointing upwards, they're probably the better ones. So from this um, Vildred speech, we managed to get 18 back here, uh, plus 18. And then I usually go with the tamarine one as well with cute cheer. Again, like these arrows here, three Maybe arrows are usually the best ones. And lonely, I'll be the shining star in your heart. Okay, and for the tamarine, we actually got four plus three plus nine, which is sixteen there. So it's only sixteen plus the eighteen just now. That was eighteen. Yes, it was eighteen. Sixteen plus eighteen, so that is only thirty-four. Is that right? Eighteen plus. Well, yeah, I think it's it's 34. So it was 34 morale uh, replenished. So it actually doesn't. It's not actually that much. Um, in compared to like the 48, I think that you can get. I think it's the maximum. But you actually no, no, you actually don't need it that high. You can actually have this 34-ish uh, morale, morale booster. Uh, it's actually fine because that's what I usually do. So what we're going to do now guys is actually follow the same route and make our way over to the second boss now rather than quitting the stage. So let's go ahead and uh, make our way to the, to the second boss. Okay, right, so we reach the uh, sub boss here again, so it should be the second uh, sub boss near near the second boss. Okay, so uh, it should be pretty autoable, but if you can't, then you can actually manual it yourself. It's fine. So when we get to this uh, second boss, uh, sub boss, sorry, and we get to sub boss, we should be on about uh, minus twenty odd. So as you can as you can remember down here, or when you oh ah press the wrong button. So when you uh, click on this button here, um, it does show you. Remember, it was minus 31 when it starts to everything starts to one shot you. So we don't actually have that much till we uh, get one shotted. So we can keep going on. Uh, okay, so we're on minus 24 now. So let's just keep going until we actually, we actually die. Actually. All right, so here's the part then, guys. So you can actually finish it right here. Uh, so you can see the face is actually pretty gloomy right now. Um, so you can actually finish the run right here. You can always just teleport back to uh, the orange section here as well. So like I said, when you get to like minus 33 or beforehand, you can actually teleport back to the orange. Otherwise, you can just uh, revive yourself for free anyway. So it doesn't cost any sky stones. Just press retry and then uh, you'll come back in. Okay, so don't move a muscle. Don't run into that battle again. You want to go and teleport back to the orange starting point. 
and here's when you can actually finish with minus 38 so we have a big blue line now which we've already passed so we don't need to use any more morale to get to this second boss later on so what we're going to do now is clear the portal and finish here so just a summary, let's go ahead and recap what we have done. So we've gone to, over to fight the first boss. So it could be any boss, like I said, guys, uh, but I choose this one because it's pretty easy. So go all the way to the first boss, teleport back to the main start, and then head towards the second boss. So it could be another one. You can go all the way over here. Go head towards your second boss and just keep going until you die. Once you die, uh, respawn for free, and then you can teleport back to the orange starting point here. So we have two blue lines uh, like that. Okay, and all this crap here, you just like sell this off. All right, let's go ahead with the same team. So we just use the same team. We don't have to be the um, 48 stamina boosting ones. Uh, it can just be something that gives you like 34 uh, extra morale. Okay, so let's go back into the labyrinth. So we used up uh, two of our compasses to get to one boss killed and then uh, almost the second boss. So uh, in the second run, we're not going to go straight for this guy. We're going to go in and fight another boss. Uh, okay, so I usually choose this one up here because he's pretty easy as well. This one takes a bit longer and um, the queen definitely takes much longer. So let's go over to the east side then. Let's head towards this uh, second boss. Okay, so let's go up towards him So that counter sub boss is usually one of the harder ones out there, the counter ones which actually get you sometimes, but if you actually built uh, well enough on equipment I think you should be fine. Alright, so we finally made it everyone, so let's go on to the last bit, so we kill the, this uh, boss first. Alright, and there we have the first boss on our second run. So the first boss is out the way. So we got two bosses done now. Okay, and we here have minus 11 morale now. So let's just go ahead and teleport back to the uh, where we started from. So we're going to go all the way back into the orange section where we start from. Okay, and again like last time, we're going to go in and camp now. And obviously choose the ones which gives you the most, which should be the no same as your first run. The world are either too naive or too innocent. There you go, so that's 18 there. And they go to Tamari. Oh, feeling down and lonely, I'll be the shining star in your heart. Okay, so if you're not actually sure which ones which give you the most morale, you can actually go and um, go and test the camping simulator online. There's lots of them out, out there. So just go to the camping simulator, choose your uh, units that you use, and see if it actually reaches to about 30, I'd say. Uh, if you can get morale plus 30, it should be about fine. Okay, so what we're going to do now with 20 morale is head back down this line that we created on the first run. So let's go back to the first so the second boss that we uh, attempted to beat and let's just go run down this line uh, because it won't use up too much morale alright and the final section of the maze so in the two runs, as you can see guys, we managed to beat two bosses here and we're on to our third one down here. So I know a lot of you don't actually do Labyrinth because it maybe it takes too long, it's a lot more clicking around than the events. Uh, but trust me guys, that it is actually, it's actually worth it, uh, in my honest opinion. It does use up a little bit of your time and your patience, uh, but it is worth it in the end. So let's go ahead and fight the, th uh, the final boss now. So we can actually use this 
uh, to kill off the third boss with two stones. Okay, and there we have it, guys. So as you can see, guys, we actually used up two, let's see, uh, two runs of the labyrinth, which actually cost us four com uh, four compasses. So four compasses actually accomplished uh, beating three of these bosses rather than the usual two if you quit um, after you beat the first boss. All right, so after you've beaten all three, guys, just go back to this orange section here, and you go down to the south side. And there's this little box here where you have uh, Alexa. And she's the um, shop of the labyrinth and inside you can find there's a lot of stuff you can buy from her so lastly on the list but definitely not the least guys is the queen's gift four of these coronation, uh, coronation souvenirs you can actually buy this uh, this gift here so the gift actually has a random chance of picking one of these let's see what we get this time Ah, we got the gold this time, but definitely it's, um, I do get a lot of Molagoro seeds from uh, just these runs with four of these um, souvenirs. So as you see here guys, I actually used up two runs to kill off three bosses on the first part. So sadly it doesn't work for these last two bosses, so we should have two bosses that we haven't beaten yet. But because there's only two of them, uh, when we do go down this route, kill off the first boss and go down the second route, we still need that fourth uh, ticket run to go down here and kill off the last boss. So uh, we can't actually kill off three with two stones here. Right, and after that second run, guys, we can just go ahead and clear a portal again. So if you're lucky, it could actually come up with uh, four coronation souvenirs um, as a final reward here. I think it's uh, they drop a one or two. And the rest of the items, you just sell them off. All right, let's go check out the units then. So you can actually go follow these units that um, I have given you as a guideline. Otherwise, you can just build your own, but these are what I usually go for anyway. Uh, Tamara is on max stats except her S1, so she doesn't need any damage there. So I've got her with uh, Magahara's Tomb, so she can cycle her skills faster. And she's just on the speed set with some HP, so 217 speed. Uh, she doesn't actually need that much defense and HP, but it helps for her healing, so that's what she's on. First one was Strays. Uh, I just have him on Creation and Destruction, so it's just not a very, it's a very RNG artifact. This one. Uh, so after he uses S3, he gets a 19% chance to have S3 up and running again. Uh, so what I've got him on is a speed set with critical hit chance, and then he's just basically on high DPS uh, build with 214 speed. Next up we have Arbiter Vildred, so he's on Moonlight, Dreamblade and a counter set. So you can actually build him on speed set if you want, or if your Arby's uh, on speed set you can go with uh, that, that's fine. Uh, I've got him on counter set because I use him for PvP, so that's the stats I've got him on. But you can actually build him faster and more DPS if you like. And last but not least I have BBK, so uh, obviously she's on my PvP set as well, but she's just on very uh, speedy. DPS set there. So this is the stats for my BBK. You can just match and copy and see if it helps you on your runs. Okay, and that has been four labyrinth compasses to beat off three bosses uh, in the normal labyrinth. So there are one, two, three, four, five bosses uh, in normal difficulty. I think in hell difficulty there is also five. Uh, but there's five bosses there, uh, which usually would take up 10, I think, I think 10 compasses per week. Uh, we're actually reducing it down to using 8 compasses to beat all, all the bosses anyways. Okay, and that has been Labyrinth Hints from me today. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. Uh, let me know in the comments if it actually helped you out, um, if you're actually running ones beforehand, if it actually saved you uh, extra 2 compasses per week or if you actually knew about this hint beforehand. Let me know in the comments, uh, it would be really good to hear from you. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye!